Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your February 2018 monthly reading. Uh, generally my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. I'm going to get two oracle cards and then we will uh, do the regular tarot and then we will get a couple of advice cards at the end. Oh, the sun. This is about rebirth. It's about healing. It's about growth. It's a renewal. It's also a number one. So it's it's a really it's a card of manifestation and probably a divine connection, which I know that you have anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right here. It's happiness, yes. So that's great. It should be, it looks like, well, with that for being the first card. You know, it could uh, pan out to be a really good month for you, all right? Maybe you're going through some kind of renewal or a healing process, or maybe you're actually blossoming into something new, because that's what the sun brings in the spring and in the summer. It brings growth. It brings flowers, you know? So I think that for some of you, you're just blossoming after a period of... Um, stagnation perhaps oh patience look at that that is what card is that does anybody know it's the temperance card okay it is about temperance is about patience have patience things will grow from what you plant okay it's really interesting that it's coming up with the sun card you see the seed is growing in his hand but you have to have patience for it to grow. And I think perhaps some of you have had patience and the seed has been planted, had been planted, and now you're starting to see the benefits. <laughs> There's a blossom, okay? Some of you are blossoming. You know, it's your time. This could possibly be your month. Well, now let's get right into this. Silence speaks volumes. Patience There's been some stress. There's been some stress in your life. It feels like you may have had some anxiety. All right. It's like you've been in a period of despair, perhaps. Maybe you're closing that door finally. Yeah. You know, with this Knight of Cups right next to it, it, it really appears that you're having more compassion for yourselves. Maybe you you are wanting a new romance and you're being patient you're just not going to settle i'm waiting i'm waiting you're in a period of waiting for the right one even if it hurts it's like i'm going to wait for the right one and it may be a little depressing to go through that and to be alone you know if you're alone but it feels like the stress that you're going through the despair the anguish there's a reason for it Okay, because this I feel like this card is relationship growth of some sort. It's like it's bringing you closer to the right one. All right, believe it or not. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. So here you are. I mean, this is man or woman. You're definitely here. I mean, right off the bat with the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. I mean, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I mean, you. this could be your energy or you could be dealing with another water sign. You could be thinking about offering love to another water sign or you could just be loving yourself more than ever. You know, and I feel like for many of you, that's exactly what it is. 
I love myself so much that I am going to be patient. I'm going to work on myself and let myself be renewed so that when this perfect option comes into my life, I'm absolutely ready. Because I think that's what you need. You need to go through this period of growth so that you are ready. It's like you have to be... Uh, passionate about who you are before you can offer love to someone else and so that's what I think you're doing I think that you are nurturing yourself you're taking care of yourself or you have been the last few months it's really getting to know who you are it's kind of like soul searching it feels like you've really been working on healing and figuring out what you're looking for in love and that's gonna and it's bringing you closer to the right right one um, you could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person may have rejected your offer of love, and that may have been what catapulted you into this state of needing to heal or needing to renew or needing to figure out what you really want, okay? It just feels like, you know, you were dealing with somebody that wasn't didn't want to commit to you. All right, and that caused some um, despair. I think that you've been in, in despair over somebody that perhaps you thought was loyal, you thought was dependable, you thought was responsible or something like that. Somebody that you thought was going to be in your life and then, you know, they didn't. it didn't turn out to be that way. And so there was no start. It's like it never even took off. It never even took off. And I think that you had the best of intentions, but this other person didn't. Whoever you were dealing with didn't have very good intentions. Um, so you have to take this time to heal, you know. With the Fool card reverse, it's like you may still be stuck in this spot. You may be feeling like I can't, I really loved this person and I'm not sure that I can move out of this as of yet, you know. There is a lot of love here for another person. It's either a uh, earth sign or a water sign, but it feels like there's no, no there's no newness in the relationship. It's going nowhere. Put it that way. There's lack of growth wherever it was. You know, wherever your mind is at while I'm telling you this stuff, it's like there was no no growth, and and there's and there's despair over it because you were hoping. You had the best intentions, put it that way. But you're still holding on. You're still holding on to something. It feels like you're resisting this change when you shouldn't be. All right? You, and you know, it is, it is a, everything leads you in the right way, whether you know it or not. So you should stop resisting. You need to go with your feelings. You need to let yourself... Let something go that doesn't serve you, okay? Because whatever you're holding on to, there's no future. There's no growth with this eight, eight, this eight, this ace of wands. There's no growth. It's like there's no room to expand. So for whatever it is that you are holding on to, um, in regards to a person that probably hasn't reciprocated a whole lot. You know, it feels like you're clinging to it. You're clinging to it in hopes that the passion will reignite, in hopes that there will be growth, but I don't see it happening. I feel that you guys are are starting to work on yourselves because something didn't work out. You're still stuck there, though. Damn it. You're still stuck somewhere where you don't need to be mentally. It's like you were really hoping for a fresh start with somebody. You were hoping for a, for things to take off running and for it to be happily ever after. But And now you can't let go of it because there was a lot of passion at one time. I, there was a lot of passion. And so that's why you can't let go. It's like the, there was a feeling of excitement with somebody and you just can't let it go and now it's like you're stuck in this spot um and you're you're just 
you're refusing to consider this new approach that needs to happen. I feel like there's a chance for new love. There's a chance for new love with you, for you. Could be with this uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. There's a chance for a fresh start with someone else, but you're still holding on to the past. You're holding on to something that isn't growing, okay? And it's kind of funny. I mean, it's not funny. It's odd because we have this sun next to the temperance card or the patience card. I feel like you guys are blossoming into something new. You're in the phase. That's what it is. It's still work. It's still working itself out. So you're not, you haven't completed the phase yet. It feels like you're still going through the healing process. You're making progress. Okay, and, and your seed is starting to grow and you are starting to blossom and you're starting to see the light, but you just haven't let go of something yet. There could be a chance for new love and this person is not your usual type. This card is the lover's card, by the way. It says that you are probably going to have an unexpected choice in love this month. Love could come in. It could come in very quickly, unexpectedly, and you're going to have to make a decision. Do you go this way or do you go this way? You know, do you offer the, the love or do you accept the love from this new person that comes into your life? Or do you keep holding on to the past where there's no growth, there's no room for expansion? I see with these two cards that you're refusing to see this new possibility. When the fact of the matter is, I think you should really, really be open to it. Because it feels like you are being offered a relationship, a new love with somebody else. But you're, you're just not quite there yet. But let me zoom this in and then we'll get some more cards. You just want to make sure you make the right decision, huh? And that's why you're being patient. That's why you're being patient and you're refusing to let go because you're you're hoping that something's going to blossom. And that could certainly be the case. That could be why I'm, I'm seeing this blossoming is because perhaps you are holding on to something in hopes that it will blossom. You're being patient. You're biding your time waiting for something to grow. But if this card signifies something coming into your life unexpectedly, okay, this is um, this is seduction. It's, it is uh, decisions. It's commitment, and it's your choice. You must be prepared to live with the consequences if you, of your choice. Should you choose to stay stuck where there's no growth, then well, that's where you'll be. If you choose to let new love in then that's where you where you will be but it's completely up to you you have you will live with the consequences of your choice but i do believe that for many of you you are going to have a choice between two paths two people perhaps i do consider this a love reading <laughs> What is this Queen of Pentacles reversed? Hmm. I feel like there, there's some kind of hot-headed woman in your life that's still on your mind. Okay? This is a Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And you may want be want or this person may be offering you love, or you may be they may be in the equation somewhere. But you know, this card was on the bottom a minute ago, and now it just moved to the top. Isn't that funny? You have a choice between two people, and this is what I think. It's either you 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 go back to the past or you move forward. What's it going to be? I mean, that's what I see. It feels like you may be um, communicating with somebody, okay? This may be... Um, Talking about compromise, talking about um, collaboration. You may be thinking about what you want to do. What do I want to do? And maybe you have to make some compromises for something to work. I see that there's a lot of sleepless nights. 
and I think these sleepless nights are due to perhaps it's either a water sign or a earth sign okay and either there's a lack of communication or you're somebody's wanting a fresh start whether it's you or the other person somebody wants a fresh start and I feel like you're resisting it There's some jealousy here, okay? Because these are both jealousy cards. Somebody's jealous. You could have somebody that's jealous of your newfound love, okay? That could certainly be the case. Somebody could be observing you from afar or you could be observing them. I feel like there's somebody in your life that wants, wants a do-over, wants a do-over, and you're considering it. Yeah, you're, you are. This is a time of reflection. Amazing that card came out. It's like, and this, this may not have happened yet, okay? Because this is for February. And I really like to say that the timing is irrelevant. This is for whenever it resonates with you. So if this hasn't, hasn't happened yet, give it time. Have patience, okay? Because it feels like somebody wants a renewal. I mean, this is a renewal too. Somebody wants a renewal. I think somebody wants a fresh start in that you are going to consider it. This is consideration. It's a time of reflection. It's a time to step back. I'm going to take a time out here and think about this. What is it that I really want? So I, I really feel like there could be an offer from your past coming in and you may consider it. You know, that could certainly be the case. Perhaps you're involved in something right now where there's no growth, no passion. And, and whether you're alone or you're with somebody, there's no growth, there's no passion with this Ace of Wands reversed. I mean, that's what this card means. Okay? And you're resisting letting it go. Oh, jeez, um... Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is, um, you, you may be dealing with that sign. You may be dealing with a fire sign. Or you may be just dealing with somebody that is very stuck in their ways. Okay, this person is stuck in their ways. They know what they want. They they are very unique. Um, they're very honorable and they're very creative, but they don't typically budge. Okay, this person, they know what they want. They're going to do it their way and they don't typically um, change. Okay, so I feel like you are dealing with somebody that... Um, You're resisting, okay? You are, you're, res you're holding on. You're holding on to this person, but there's, there's, there's no room for expansion. There's no room for growth. There's no fertility with this card. You know, and this could be any person taking on this energy, but this is the, the energy of the leader. I am the boss in this relationship. Okay? And it feels like, I mean, that's what the energy of this. This is the boss. I am the boss. It's my way or the highway. And it just feels like there's a lot of resistance here. There's a lot of resistance. There's resistance to you're refusing to consider the new approach or this person is. This is refusing to consider the new road, the new, new path because it's reversed. And that it is now connected to this person. Mm. What is this? I just, it's just, I don't even. Oh, God, the tower. Jeez, some crow. I don't even know about this, if I should even post this one. Um. <laughs> It's a false foundation. This is things falling apart. See, both of you falling to the ground. This is a big crash. All right, this is things falling apart. So I feel like there's something that 
you've been trying to avoid it from falling apart. But, but you can only hold on for so long. Oh, geez. Um, these, these are really, really heavy energies here. Really heavy. Okay, there's something that needs to end. There is something that needs to end. It's like, and it could just be a mindset. I don't know. Okay, with this death card, it's an ending that brings this renewal, that brings new life. And I see that. I feel like all the seeds that you have planted are starting to grow. And I see new life here. And I feel for many of you that you have a choice between two people. Okay, and I see a lot of seduction here. I feel like, you know, the, the something is is falling apart. Something is falling apart. I don't know what it is. This this tower is here to shake things up because, you know, when when you can't make a move, and the universe sees what is going on they will typically give you that nudge. And that's what I see. It's like you are probably gonna, going to be given a nudge that forces an ending so that you can have the renewed growth that you need so that you can go down the new path, perhaps with a new person, okay? Because this typically is a new person. And this person... You're very comfortable with this person. You see, they're both they're both naked. Okay, they're both naked. Whoever this person is that comes into your life in February is somebody that that is you are going to be very very comfortable with. Like there's no shame. You guys will know each other intimately with ease. Okay. Um and there's a lot of destiny here, okay, there is. There's a lot of uh, major arcana cards, heavy ones. There's some big energies here. So when you get these major cards, this is universally driven, okay? It's divinely guided. Whatever is happening right now, Scorpio, is part of the plan or whatever has happened recently, okay? I feel like there's somebody from somebody watching you from afar or or something like that that will probably get in contact with you and make an offer and you might seriously consider it. You might consider a new start. Somebody I believe wants a new start, but okay, so if we look at this lineup, this is wanting more, wanting more in love. Okay, it's the Knight of Cups. It's also an offer of love. Okay, it's relationship growth. But but with the Fool reversed, there's no new beginning. It's like you're not taking a risk. This is typically somebody from your past. So somebody from your past is probably wanting a fresh start with you. But you are resisting it. You're resisting it. Because you're already, you're, you're resisting it because you're holding on to something else. It could be this energy right here. But the fact of the matter is, is this is false because there's no expansion. There's no growth. And it's time for it to end. It's time for an ending so that a new beginning can start. Perhaps with this person that wants to offer love. Now this could go... Hundreds and thousands of different ways. It could. This is what I see. <clears throat> I feel for many of you that you are caught in between two. Okay? And you just don't know what to do. I, you know, I feel like you don't, you don't know what to do. Do I, do I move forward or do I go back? What, what, what am I going to do here? Um, yeah, your guard has been up. It's like, I think you're in a situation where... You've been really having to stand your ground. It's like your guard has been up. And I think that that's part of the issue is like, I'm sick of having my guard up. I'm sick of having to defend myself. On what I think you're dealing with one person who, who br makes you put your guard up. And you're thinking about freeing yourself from this person anyway. It's like, I'm no longer going to stay here anymore. I think I'm going to free myself from this. This is personal freedom. 
okay? So it's freedom. It's like freeing yourself from a place that you have been resisting. You've been resisting letting go of something. There's no doubt about it. But now there's there's really no growth here. So I think that you will come to the conclusion when this person makes the offer, you might just decide to stop resisting whatever it is you got to let go of. Because this is an offer that comes out of the blue. Okay? And this is typically a soulmate connection. Okay, the lover's card is typically typically a soulmate connection, and this is about consequences, okay? I feel like you're going to have this unexpected choice in love, and you're really going to have to make a decision and pay attention to the consequences. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay stuck, or are you going to move forward? It is somebody from your past. I feel, and this could be... <coughs> Somebody from your childhood could be somebody that you've been in a relationship for, with. It could be somebody that you've known in a past life. But it is connected to you because this is the sign of you. And I often consider the Tower card the sign of Scorpio as well. So I feel like there's somebody from your past that may come into your life and make you an offer. And you just... You know, do you want the new beginning or not? You have, this is decision making time. It is. There's some, there's like a, a, a new start here. A transformation. Oh, and you're starting to see things clearly now. When we get the seven of cups reversed, it's like, okay, I understand. I get it. I understand now. I finally see the truth. There's no more confusion. You have to make a choice. It's choice. It's time to make a choice. There's, it is. Decisions, 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 decisions. It's definitely time to make a decision. It is a month of making a choice, by the way. I think that somebody has went through a healing process, whether it's you or the other person that you're dealing with. You've went through a process of renewal. You've went through a... Uh, a process of confusion, which brought about some healing. I feel like there's been some kind of, uh, there's a purpose, because there's a purpose for everything, and the temperance card is also about purpose. Everything happens for a reason, okay? So I feel like there's, there's a new beginning here that is being offered to you, and you are seriously going to consider it, but I think you have a choice between two people. And you're starting to see things very, very clearly with this revo reversed Seven of Cups. It's like, now I see. Now I see. It's like you've, 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 uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to stop myself from coughing. <coughs> but it's not going to work. Sorry. <clears throat> now you're reaping the rewards of your patience. There's a new door opening. There's absolutely is. There's a new door opening for you, Scorpio. And I think that somebody perhaps from your past is going to come into your life and you're going to have to make a decision. Do I go down this new road or do I not? Do I stay where I'm at or do I give this person another chance? I And, and you know, this could be somebody from a past life. It could be. I have to remind you that this reading may not resonate with you. It may or it may not. But I really feel like some of you are involved in a situation where there's no growth, there's no expansion, and you're starting to see the situation very clearly now. You've went through a period of healing. You went through a period of renewal. You went through a period of confusion. 
which brought about these clear visions, okay? Now I see things clearly, okay? I see that you're starting to see things clearly. I feel like somebody is going to make you another offer. You know, it's somebody that you know, okay? Whether it's in a past life or not, you will know. You will be very familiar with this person. I think somebody that you know is going to make you an offer and you are absolutely going to consider it very highly and you may even been wishing for this to happen waiting for this to happen okay you may have been waiting and biding your time um this could be somebody completely new though it could be if you don't know this person like i said it could be somebody from a past life so you don't actually know them in this lifetime I feel with this lover's card, it pretty much says that there's an unexpected choice in love coming into your life and you're going to have to make a decision. But I think that you're going to have to let go of something if you choose to do to have a new start, whether it's your freedom or you know what I mean, your independence, whatever it is, or another person. I really feel like in order for this new person to come into your life, you're going to have to let something go. It's a happy month either way. It is I see a lot of happiness month this month, a lot of growth. I see renewal, I see bliss, I see enlightenment. And I see big, big, huge changes. Okay, you have many major arcana cards. And I would consider both of these major arcana cards too. It's destiny. And the universe is here. The universe is here to shake things up, to bring about things that are not meant to be. The tower comes out to make things happen that need to happen. When people don't take the initiative to make the changes that they need to make, that's when the tower, or I call it the universe, I don't care what any other reader says, comes in and says, all right, if you're not gonna make this change, I'm gonna help you. So that's when they throw this, this person into your life because a change is needed. trustworthy guidance you've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers this idea is real and trustworthy an answer to your prayers hmm. this idea is real and trustworthy you can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you every step of the way ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. The second card is go for it. Your prayers, affirmations. No, I'm I'm thinking about my other deck. I'm sorry. <laughs> go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations. <laughs> I gotta stop. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. Again, your prayers. Your prayers have been answered. This is something you've been praying for. Seriously. And I said, I think I said it earlier, something you've secretly been wishing for. That's funny. I said that earlier in the reading. Your prayers have been answered here. This is what you've been waiting for. And like I said, with this card, it's like something is finally starting to pay off. Anyway, I start over. Go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path, as it will take you very far indeed. You know, I think that you have an unexpected choice in love. And this card is pointing right at it. There's a new door opening. A new path to go down. 
should you choose to walk that path. It's all up to you. You're going to have to take a risk and I think that's what you're being asked. Do you want to take this risk or not? That's what I have, Scorpio, for the month of February. Stay tuned for your weeklies. Namaste.